I'd have been here all day trying to replicate Simon's 150 checkout. Ready for this one? The Legend Darts Pro Series V10 Darts Review begins right now, AKA Simon Whitlocks. Here we go. What's up guys, Worldwide here. So check this out. Today we have a highly requested review. I've had a ton of subscribers ask me about these darts. So thankfully I'm getting around to reviewing them. I've been sitting on them for quite a while now, but yeah, in today's video, we'll be taking a close up look at the Legend Darts Pro Series V10 and obviously a Simon Whitlock replica dart. However, I do want to clear things up right away. Just because I say replica or knockoff, that doesn't mean they're cheap or low quality. I mean, these are amazing darts, super high quality, the match weighting was spot on. So yeah, just because I say replica, don't confuse it with some cheap knockoff, because they certainly aren't. Legend Darts make some amazing darts. Now, I happen to pick these up at Darts Corner, and I got them like back Christmas time. I think I got like 20% off, so I ordered a whole ton of stuff. And uh, I will have the link down below in the pinned comment. You can check out these darts, as well as the rest of the Legend Darts lineup. These were right around 45 US dollars, so not a bad deal, right? 90% tungsten, can't go wrong there. And wait till you find out how grippy these things are. Oh my God, they are super grippy. But what do you say we just hop right into it? We'll hit you with all the things we normally do, stats and dimensions. I'll tell you about the grip level. And then after that, we'll get them on the board, throw them for a bit. And I'll let you know what I think of the Legend Darts Pro Series V10, AKA Whitlocks. Here we go. Okay, let me show you the packaging. We'll take a quick peek at the darts and then straight into the stats and dimensions. So yeah, nothing too fancy here. Just your typical cardboard hang case. And inside we had this plastic tray. You get your point protector. And as you see here, I did purchase an extra set of Legend Darts flights. You can never have enough flights, right? So taking a quick peek at the darts, I mean, that's pretty obvious that this is a Simon Whitlock replica. And check out the grip on the back end of these things. Look at that razor grip. Look at the grip up front. I think that's going to be the theme of this video. Grippy, grippy, grippy. I cannot stress just how grippy these things are. Now on the back end, we've got the, I guess that's an intermediate length Legend Arts nylon stem. You see the threads there. These are 39.5 millimeters long, not including the threads. And then on the very back end, we got the Legends Darts standard size flights. And for whatever reason, that bugs me that that says Legends. And that just says legend, so <laughs> take that for what it's worth. But um, yeah, there's the darts. What do you say we get a little closer look and hit you with all the stats and dimensions you need to know, plus more. Okay, let me hit you with all the stats and dimensions here. Starting up front, unfortunately, we've got some plain silver 32 millimeter points. I would definitely repoint these things. And you know what? Since you have Simon Whitlock darts, it should be mandatory that you have board wrecking points installed. Unfortunately, I don't have any. Plus, I got a brand new Blade 6 hanging on the wall. So we're just going to rock with these points today. Now, the barrels, 90% tungsten. The barrel length coming in a very, very common 50.8 millimeters long. In the barrel width, I'm going to give you a few here. Right here at the widest point, 7.1 millimeters wide. And then in the back end, we got kind of a reverse taper. So right here where the razor grip starts... 6.1 millimeters wide and then right where the razor grip stops 6.6 .6 millimeters wide so yeah reverse taper on the back end but 7.1 millimeters wide at the widest point now i unscrewed the stem checked out the drill depth these are drilled out 12.5 millimeters deep and the match weighting here they are advertised as 22 grams excellent excellent match weighting 22.14 22.15 and 22.16 all three darts in sequential order from lightest to heaviest so what do you say we get a little closer look and I'm going to tell you just how grippy these bad boys are. All right, let's get a close up look at this barrel and I will tell you and show you just how grippy these things are. I mean, come on. I think you can tell by looking at them that, yeah, that's an aggressive grip, right? I mean, get a close up look at this razor grip on the back end. This stuff is sharp. I mean, it's it's unreal. I think actually right there, I think that's some of my skin. But um, yeah, probably some of the most grippy darts I've thrown in quite a while. And I, I tell you right now, I'm going to struggle throwing these things. And then this front end, I don't think that's technically razor grip, but man, look at this. All right, there's my fingertip, right? Watch this. 
give them a little squeeze. Look at my finger. Are you kidding me? That's just how sharp this grip is. I'm going to go ahead and give them a grip level 4.3 on a scale of 1 to 5. And depending on how rough or soft your hands are, I mean, my hands are rough, but if your hands are soft, they're probably going to feel even more grippy. So there's the barrel. You know what? One thing I don't like, though, I mean, look at the lip right there. That is ridiculous. If you're running expensive condors or expensive molded flights, it's just going to be mandatory that you do something about that lip. You're going to have to repoint them with specialty points. Just do anything to get rid of that lip because that's going to do some serious damage to your expensive flights. But other than that, I'm going to run them just like you see them. And again, I can tell you right now, I'm not going to be able to throw these all that well. But hey, I'm going to give it my best shot. So let's get them on the board and see what I do with them. Here we go. All right, let's see how this one goes. Not a lot of confidence with these darts. It's just, uh, man, they're, they're a tough dart to throw. And I even spent a little extra time warming up, just trying to get used to the grippiness and the unusual barrel shape. But uh, hey, we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna switch things up on you. I'm gonna do cricket count up. So six turns at the cricket numbers. So 20s, 19s, 18s, 17s, 16s, and 15s. And uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Triple, since we're playing cricket, triple counts as three, single counts as one, double counts as two, but you really shouldn't be throwing at it. So here we go. All right, gentle touch on these barrels. I think that's in. That's not. Hey, yeah. All right, yeah, we're off and running with five. That was in. Yeah. It's hit or miss with these things, to be honest. I'm either on or off. They do kind of group tight, though, with that tapered, the tapered front end. Oh, that was close to the double. Ah. Again, that lip on the front of the darts, that was a crazy deflection. I took a chunk out of my flight. Hey, five and five and five is 10. Hey, we're off to a pretty good start. Just gonna keep it going for four more segments. Wow, what is going on there? That one just dug right into my fingertips. Ah, hey, five more. I'll take it. All right, 17s. Man, that first start is going low, isn't it? Is that another five? <laughs> another five. All right. 20. But yeah, let me know down in the comment section. I know there's a few of you that play with Simon Whitlock darts, but yeah, I, I don't know. I've got I've got a set of his older ones here, which I really like. These are from 2014. Just a pretty much I don't even know what shape that is. It's not a straight barrel, but I like those ones a lot better than these things. All right, what do we got? 16s. We've got 20 scored already. Hey, we'll take it. So I, I have to average at least two for the next two segments. Oh, hey. Again, that lip just took a chunk out of that flight. And a super chunk, wow. All right, so hey. We got four out of that. Hey, you know what I'm gonna do at the end of the video, after the 180, after I give these a recommendation, I'm gonna put a picture of these flights. They are just chewed up. And like I said, I've only been warming up probably six, seven minutes, plus this. Flights are destroyed. All right, hey, 24 already, so I met my goal. 15s. Let's end off good. Hey, 
Hey, there we go. Mm. 24, 7, hey, 31 for count up, cricket count up. Well, that went a lot better than I expected. So, um, hey, there it is. They worked well for those six turns, right? So, hey, here's what we're going to do. We've got the 180 remaining. And uh, like I said, I give these things a rating. And then, yeah, afterwards, you can take a look at these flights. They're just absolutely hammered after maybe a total of eight minutes of playing. This is ridiculous. So, yeah, you're going to definitely want to repoint these things. So, uh, yeah, let's roll into the 180 and then a rating. And we are out of here. in there. Now that was a right to left on that one. Whew, all right. Well, now to be honest with you guys, I probably had six attempts at it in the last 10 minutes. Missed every one of them. So yeah, that third dart was sticking to my finger quite a bit. So hey, there it is, guys. Hope you enjoyed the review so far. And if you did, thumbs up always appreciated but even more so leave a comment down below let me know what you thought of the video let me know if you're considering buying these or any of the other legend darts again reminder link down below in the pinned comment take you over to darts corner have a look at all the legend darts they got some really amazing stuff you saw the mentor or hopefully you saw the mentor silovich review i did last week those were nice as well so um yeah tons of awesome darts to pick from so now comes the time of the video where I give these a recommendation on how well I think they're going to work for a recreational dart player. I think you guys already know, not going to do too well in the ratings. I mean, it's just such an unusual shaped barrel, incredibly grippy, and I think it's going to be one of those darts that you either love or you hate. There's not going to be much middle ground with these things. So as a result, I'll give them like a... 4.5 out of 10. Not a good score, but then again, if you've thrown with a Simon Whitlock dart and you really like it, you'll definitely like these things. So there you go, 45 bucks. It's worth a gamble, I guess, but again, not a great rating. So there it is, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll catch you on the next one. Later. Okay, little bonus clip. Man, these things took a beating, didn't they? Definitely chewed up here. Chewed up in the middle, look at that, just not good. And that was only after about 10 minutes of play. So can you imagine if those were your expensive condors? Yeah, no thanks. So definitely make sure you repoint these bad boys. Why you think they call me Mr. Worldwide?